first wow. school lesson. So <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, I'm Dr. Andrew. I am the owner and the dentist at Sky Dental. And I'm Dr. May, Mailing ID, and I am Dr. Andrew's wife and also part of Sky Dental. So I came across an Instagram post by the Norwegian Cultural Centre saying that they were bringing Karius and Bactus to Singapore and I was so excited. But I thought that it had already come and gone. I reached out to the NCC and I was so happy that it hadn't actually come to Singapore yet because of COVID. So I reached out and I said, I have a dental practice. I would love to be part of bringing Karius and Bactus to Singapore and here we are. So a brief history about myself is that my father is Norwegian and we have been living in Singapore since I was born. My mother is Singaporean Chinese. So we have strong Norwegian roots. And when I heard that Karis and Bactus was coming to Singapore, we thought it would be a great chance for us to connect with my Norwegian heritage and to teach our children as well about the lovely story of Karis and Bactus and the fact that it was a play was even better. And I only came to find out about Carius and Bactus uh, a couple of years ago when I went to Norway with uh, Dr. Eide and uh, she introduced me to the characters and I thought it's very apt. One is black-haired, Carius, and the other <laughs> is red-haired, Bactus. <laughs> so from a personal level, it was really nice to find a, an organisation that um, could introduce Norwegian culture to my children because of course we live here in Singapore and I didn't want them to grow up not knowing anything about Norway or not having had the chance to live there and not being able to immerse in some Norwegian culture. So that led me to reach out to the NCC. And yourself? I think after Covid times it was very refreshing to have a live performance come back and we really tapped into opening up to culture again and going to a live performance and it just happened to be about Carius and Bactus which was perfect for us. Excellent! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the funny thing is that when we connected myself and with uh, Yoon Bikan, uh, we realised that our ties went back more than just you know the Norwegian Cultural Centre. We actually knew each other when we were much younger. When I lived for a brief, brief period um, in Norway when um, I was uh, yeah, about five or six years old. So we thought you know all the stars aligned and we managed to actually you know meet up with someone after such a long time. Our experience has been extremely positive. We feel like we are actually part of a family more than just partners with an organization and we are just we just feel very very privileged that we were at the right place at the right time to be able to uh, work together in such a heartwarming and traditional Norwegian story set in Singapore that was just amazing I think it was a very fun experience uh, they made it uh, very enjoyable uh, not very stressful at all and uh, the organisation was very good for the whole performance and we really didn't feel too stressed. The only uh, thing that we had to stress about was our part and they took care of everything else. And additionally, I think um, it was really nice that uh, we could see that the Norwegian Cultural Centre, which is led by Norwegians, did have Singaporean input so for example Jackie who was the director of the play she's Singaporean so she managed to put in some of the local flavor into the stage production and we thought that it was such a lovely fusion actually of both the Norwegian culture and also a little bit of the flavor of Singapore. The collaboration with uh, the Cultural Centre and Sky Dental was excellent and it brought us um, some business in a sense that it allowed people to be aware of us and they came in for their dental checkups, they brought their kids after the performances and we found that really satisfying to see that people 
actually looked at the partners and came to visit us. And also we found it very helpful as in the performance helped us to teach children how to perform their oral hygiene because we even use with our own children the story, the story of Karen Symbactis. We also felt that it was very uh, useful as a tool for the kids who had watched the stage production and our own children and we would say remember the tooth trolls, remember what they did to the houses of your teeth and we felt that that was such a good visual tool and it really helped us and we found that the kids who watched the play, they understood what we were talking about and it really cemented it in their minds in a very fun, non-threatening way and of course we're dentists we don't always have the best reputation, especially among children. They're always scared of us. And I thought, you know, Karis and Bactis is like the perfect story to yeah. illustrate uh, what we feel is really important with dental education in a very fun and engaging way. We, of course, had a great experience working with the Norwegian Cultural Centre. And we also hope that this is not the end of our experience. We really want to bring it to a wider audience, whether that's in Singapore or whether that's to the rest of the world. And I believe that the, the centre also wants to take the story that far. And we would definitely encourage anyone who's thinking of working with the Norwegian Cultural Centre to really participate in what they're doing because they really try to bring something that's worthy um, to Singapore.